okay now it's already running it's okay so today what we will do oh, we will I'm not yeah, I shut it down because uh, daily is sometimes I used, but I think yesterday only I used. After that, I you know, didn't use this instance. Okay, now no problem. I think uh, my bill is increasing. Let me check. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Oh my god, uh, that's too much. Uh, it's okay. Now let it be. Now I can't do any much things on this. Okay, so now thing is, uh, today we will something uh, firstly understand about the couple of things uh, you know about these instances now, you know about uh, AM volume snapshots, that's what we did. Okay, now let's talk about the security groups, that is the one of the option where you have to give more your concentration on that, because if your security groups are not appropriate, it can be sometimes uh, your VM can be compromised with uh, you know, uh, hacking or something. So if you don't want to compromise with the security, you have to take care about the security groups. So if you come here, you can see almost uh, VPC ID is the same, but different different security groups are there, right? Whenever you are creating a new instance, a new security group automatically it will create, right? So. Um, how we can uh, we, you can create two instances one uh, to another so let's see yeah in one instance what are the security groups are running you can see their rules here inbound rules if you i will just make it little big http http ssh if if i'm going in this one again no rules are there okay sorry its rule should be there but I have selected one only SSH is available so this is somewhere it is showing so what the traffic can come in and what the traffic can go out if you are aware of uh, IP tables it is some uh, it's based on the IP tables only all the security based on the IP tables it's uh, nothing uh, behind that so in IP tables, it is just, uh, it is the GUI base, you can say, uh, you can configure it such a way ki which traffic can come to uh, up to your instance. So let's see which is my running instance. I'm going there, then we will start. Let me log in another screen so that we can save some of our time. Right. So uh, this particular instance is running. If I click over here, uh, go down, you can see here uh, their view inbound rules. Click over this. It is showing 80, 22 and something is about uh, port minus one. That is just for ping from some of uh, the ID I have given. So let's see, I'm uh, going here and remove all this IDs or uh, remove all these rules. So how I can re remove or how I can come to know which is uh, means uh, for this particular what is the ID. So I'm going to launch wizard. So it will come here. This is particular for that group ID. So if you go here inbound. Okay. So these rules are available. Let's see. I'm going here to connect my Okay, another is now reloading. Okay, I'm going. What I'm going to do? I'm going to create the instance, or oh, not create. I'm just going to connect the instance. So this is SSH. So SSH is running on port number twenty-two, right? So I'm going to. Okay, sorry, you can't see my screen uh, now. Wait a minute. Okay, now you can see this terminal. Yeah. I'm just clearing it and I'm going to connect. To connect this terminal, I have to just change here my keys. Yes. Yes, it's connected. So if you really see, I'm able to connect because of port number 22. I'm coming out from this and just show you uh, come here and what I'm going to do I'm just going 
and stop this or deleting all these ports one two three four everything okay so I have to just go and edit remove more remove, more remove, remove everything save now there is no inbound connection is allowed so if I'm trying now same thing it will not work because it need SSH 22 port should be open correct correct so it is yeah. not so it will uh, now it will not connect to this particular instance due to any way okay so now was the I mean uh, this is the just is the one of the basic thing but how you have to take care about um, your security it depends upon what the purpose of your instance let's see it is a web server if it is a web server you have to uh, which port you have to open port number 80 or 83 right so I'm just adding here rule let's see firstly uh, we need SSH so I am um, where it is gone SSH under all traffic under all traffic just go below all traffic yes yeah. No, okay, okay. SSH. SSH, okay. So port number 22 is open. Source is anywhere or my IP. So that you have to again give. So if there is a custom, you can also mention ki only that particular security group you can access. Let that I also I will show you. Let's see my and, IP. Uh, uh, whoever is there in that group, they can access it if some assigned laptops are there based on their IDs. Yes. So they not, can access this particular box, correct? Right. But Pretty normally easy. it is not a ideal use case. Because when you move yourself or let's say your company move on the AWS, there is not only one laptop, right? Yeah. So let's say you have uh, just small, if it is a small organization also, it's uh, at least five to 10 people are there. At least let's say four people are there, then you can't give a single, single IP address. Might be it will change because your broadband also giving you dynamic IP or something it can happen right let me firstly save this one the ideal case is when you are adding something uh, such a way you are creating a tunnel between uh, your see it's working now because it's just I have uh, given my uh, IP address so it's working now so what is the ideal use case for that uh, you have to create a IPsec tunnel. So normally when uh, any company is moving their data or you can say moving their complete infrastructure or uh, half of his infrastructure from their legacy data center or their existing data center to cloud, they are always creating a tunnel between cloud and their premises. So what if benefit give you benefit? From your office, it's just like a another system. You no need to worry about means uh, actually end user will never come to know how it uh, really happened or they are accessing the machine on the internet. So they will get a uh, normal IP like their uh, internal IP range and the same IP will work for them. Because you are right now we are doing the practical on the directly on a public IP but when you create a IPsec tunnel <clears throat> that is you can do how uh, if I will give you just a small brief on that how the IPsec tunnel is really works so IPsec 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 SEC SEC IPsec mother is the <coughs> tunneling IP security you can say okay okay so where it is there is some tools was there right Wait a minute. Okay, I will show you here. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me try with the how it will come in the blank page now i'm saying here google chrome okay you can okay now let me try to open any notes okay somewhere i will write it down 
here. So, how it, uh, it will uh, uh, really work? So, so that you will little bit get the idea. Let's see. This is your uh, right now in this office, right? So they move some of their couple of servers onto the internet. Like uh, this is your AWS, okay? So AWS, it is by default you have the public IP with how we are uh, currently working. Uh -huh. so this is I, I am so I can directly log in here through my public IP got it uh -huh. but this is your normal where all the users are there let's say uh, 20 users are there how they are accessing uh, this thing it is uh -huh. always you have a company has a external you can say router or sometime uh, router plus firewall both are things are there so how this r r router works means it is giving a public IP here always you have a in a, in any company there is a external router who is going outside let's say your internet is working all these things external world your email going to the external world this is all going through this router because they have some uh, lease line or MPLS from some of the vendor okay now how it works AWS is also will give you the one public IP okay <laughs> they are saying you create the tunnel so this public IP and this public IP can talk to each other through we can say this way IP sector okay okay so only thing is whatever you are creating IPs here well let's see it is the same range what is there let's see this all your laptops are 172.10 something any series Okay, same series you are configuring here 172.10. Uh, now 1.20. 20 is already there. Let's see uh, 22 IP is here. So your this person will never come to know when he is accessing this particular server. It is going through this tunnel. You got it. So this is completely you can say this is a tunneling from your uh, any cloud to your normal data center okay so same it is actually the same concept when you have the two offices five offices or 20 offices uh -huh. all are interconnected they have the different see it is not always the uh, same way but it is the different different ways they are coming on the uh, one mpls lease line all these things are there but when you are connecting to any other uh, client or cloud you can uh, create a tunnel so now all the traffic will not go through the internet like this is this went on the internet right so all this traffic is into the ipsec tunnel it's not haptical very much secure <coughs> so, uh, so <coughs> this is the real use case to you uh, work on means why how you will your office will connect to the aws firewall okay so okay. now come on the uh, our this is now working let's see i will start one more instance now and uh, let's see uh, yeah firstly let me start one more instance uh, i will run let's see this pc2 practical Okay, now I started my another EC2 practical uh, one more instance, whatever the name is there. So here if you go and see their wizard and go to check the, the, here also all these things are uh, available means all the inbound connection is HTTP, HTTP, SSH. So everybody can connect to this particular instance. So okay. what I will do, I am just login here. Launch instance connect. Sorry, can I hold up for a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. take your time.
okay i'm starting one more instance because that particular instance uh, doesn't have the public ip to connect okay. so what i'm going to do i'm starting one more instance let's see but today I will, what i will do i will delete the, all these instances because it is using so much space there in the back end so let it be start so thing is i have started one more instance here i will connect this one copy so now i will exit from here it is that is the problem actually if i didn't exit problem on time it is Terminal, you need to enter dash mode. What I did, I don't know. Okay, what I'm, I'm just terminating and starting again. Okay, so what I will. Paste. Login, yes, connected. So by default, uh, if you see this IP address, it is showing something to you 172. It's definitely it will show uh, showing you the private IP address, right? Uh -huh. So now I will go to the my other instance, uh, which is which uh, was running this web server, right? Uh -huh. So what is the private IP for this one? 43.50 right so can we connect here just check firstly let me try ping it should not work no it's not working now try with the ssh ssh by default uh, ubuntu is the username at the rate then giving the yes it is not connecting not able to connect so why it is not able to connect due to our security settings because in if you come on this one and see their security i have only allowed for my my laptop ip inbound see this one mm. not anyone else okay if i am going to edit this one once more or add a rule for ssh once again and i'm just saying for uh, anywhere custom source to okay. custom or i am giving that particular ip if you want to more security otherwise we can give zero zero itself so okay. then also it will um, uh, means how uh, we can give 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. So anyone can access, right? Anybody can access. I'm just giving you a save so that we can finish it soon. Okay, let's try again. Now see, immediately message mm -hmm. came. Yes, you want to connect, right? So it is all yep. uh, another thing. It uh, need the public key that is not there on that particular system, but it, definitely it's running right because the only yeah. thing is now you have a so same way if you can uh, disconnect means uh, um, give only this uh, leave the zero 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 or give something uh, particular ip address let's see i'm giving the ip address of particular system so i will show you the three different examples uh, for uh, same thing uh, now we can see the ip address of this particular system so it is okay it will work okay no it will asking for slash 32 let's see so saved so now again i will try from the same system to ssh yes it is working because it is saying permission denied because i need the keys to get the keys what i can do i can scp so 32 was the port number right sorry 32 was the port number right 32 no 22 32 is no. slash 32 means subnet so there is always subnet is working like this way So once you change that uh, subnet, uh, it's saying permission denied, right? Uh, 
no no this was not uh, here or in uh, terminal you are talking about terminal why did it say permission denied because it is my all machines are running uh, with uh, uh, keys it is not by default ssh you can do with the username password you need this public keys right okay on so that machine yes on that machine so that public key is not there so if you want to copy what we can try Okay, oh. you did. You were able to connect, right? Yeah. By SSH tunnel. Uh, no, oh. you have to enable that one uh, into the system. If I want to enable, so it is something like, uh, let's see, uh, VA slash etc SSH. Can you go up a little bit in the terminal? Can you uh, scroll up? You are talking about uh, okay. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Over here. Where? 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 Sorry. Uh, uh, it says so warning permanently added to the list of unknown hosts. Permission denied. Public key. This one. Yeah. Above. Above. Above that uh, you want to green line. Above that line. This one. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I try to SSH, it asks for the public key. It is only connect through the public key, not with the username password. You got it. Okay. How? Because in SSH you can change this configuration. Yeah, you are tunneling now. You are not directly logging in. When yes. You are logging in. That's when you use the command with the AWS. Yes. So it is and checking these things, hotkeys, all these things. And okay. if I am giving uh, root access, it is somewhere uh, log level root. Ah yes, you can see. Use PAM. PAM authentication via this thing. Setting of the permit root without password. So you have to enable a uh, root login to this system. By default, root login is not there. It is asking for keys. Where the key settings are there, it is mentioned in the top of this file. So it will search for these public keys, whatever on this system. It will match with that keys. If keys are not matching, it will not uh, give you a log to your system to log in on this particular system. Okay, so you have to copy that particular uh, keys and keep it here. That is all. But I am just showing that SSH is working. If you connect uh, this thing from uh, from here to uh, this system, do we have given this particular IP? It will work. Or if you give more in details. I can say where you have we have given SSH came out or yes okay so uh, oh, okay we are on the root on the same system. So what we can do, if you want to really see, I can show you the SSH command. Uh, okay. Command control D. Okay. So you can see here. If you really want to see the exact error, give the hyphen triple V. It will go single by single, and then tell you where the error is exactly. Okay. So let's see. I am what I am going to do here. I am again going to block this one. So let's see edit, and I am removing this particular rule. So if I am running the same command here, it will not going behind here connecting. It will not give you that SSH error because it is not able to connect for this particular IP because on destination machine the firewall is not allowing. To connect to that particular I mean uh, firewall is not allowing this firewall or this instance is not allowing to connect this particular machine because only one IP can access this particular machine. You got my point up to here? Yeah. Okay. Now I showed you how the IP you can give a single IP, you can give multiple IP, you can give zero dot zero to everyone. Now there is one more way to connect. Let's see. I am coming on the instances. 
there is uh, from where I am connecting this run machine. In run machine, if I am coming on their launch, it has this group ID, right? So this is I am just allowing this group ID to access that particular machine. So I just copied. You come on this instance where you want to give the access. That is uh, too practical. So I am going there. Launch wizard. Come on. In so this is wrong. I came. Wait a minute. Okay. Sorry. Uh, from this run. I have to connect this particular machine. So I firstly I come on the run view. I just copied it. Now I uh, go to the machine where I want to give the access. Come here. Edit this rule. SSH. Now in place of uh, custom, you can give. If you remove here, you can give the security group. It is mentioned. So I am giving this security group. Okay, just save it. So now this particular security group is allowed everywhere. Which security was this one, Zero something nine, right? Uh -huh. So now, if the same thing I will try now, here, it is not able to connect. It's um, what the error came time out, right? Uh -huh. Now I'm again I'm doing it same error older one permission denied because of keys. Otherwise it's able to connect. Why? Because this particular instance security ID, I have given the uh, told him yes. If any request is coming for SSH from this security group, you are giving him access to SSH. But the keys should be there as well. Right? Keys should be there, or that is no no other no, mean uh, way. So you have that uh, that keys should be there. So I have. Uh, Okay, in other way, what we can uh, try E W E W A keys Ubuntu at the rate. Let me try if I am able to access. Okay, sorry, everything. SCP hyphen I. Wait a minute. Yeah, just see, I is there, no? I yeah. select the file from which identity private key. Okay. Go. SCP hyphen I. A keys dot them then where it will to give the path right house again okay, uh, actually when I'm copy pasting now so it is giving me some error or oh, means it's not copy pasting properly so what I will do I will line by line I will copy just Amazon I will just copy up to here. Let's see if it might be to no. AWS dot com. Let me try. So what I uh, maximum I can okay. I have to write down might be that will work. So what I will do, I am just uh, Ubuntu at the rate
can I try now? Might be it will work now. Yes, I think now I can copy this one. Sorry, I'm uh, taking too much. No worries, no worries. Okay. Bash works here. Can you try bash? I think it is bash only or no? No, it's, a ch it's in a shell mode right now. No, dollar shell. I think it is ba uh, as such, okay. Let me try bash. Yes, I think yeah. Good. In bash, uh, you won't have this problem. Yeah, good. Yeah, thanks, sir. All yes. right. Now I can uh, CP. Yeah, it copied. I guess. I think it should be now. Let me try uh, here. No, 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 I think I did wrong thing. So now I will copy and see. No, uh, actually it's this... It's copied, you have to log in now. No, 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 I, it will not copy it now. I think it will show me when it will copy, na? Yes, now it's you know, copied. Okay. Uh, because I didn't give the directory. Oh, okay, it's going to the directory when you call it. Yes, it's connected. Now we can see uh, LS EWA5. Yes, now. So now we will try the same thing. So uh, you can SSH now, but uh, you have to give not this triple V. So you just give the half an I EWA keys name and then try to log in onto this system. Permission denied, bad permission CH mode 600. AWA keys permission desired. No problem. I have another key, might be that is for that particular system. AWS keys. Here it should be the older key because this That's is here. for connection and that is for file copied. So I'll again, yes. So now here I can check ch mode six double four aws keys dot pan. Now I will try with aws keys. So why be that system has the different key because we have two. We are using two keys. Let me try. Ah, again permission denied. AWS keys are too open. Six double four for the are too open. But I'll change. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, six. I have to give six zero zero. Yes, now connected. See here. Now I given the new key, so it's connected. If you see uh, this system IP, it is 172.31.43.50. So what I will do, I will exit from here, if config. So here, this is 20.1.4. So what you can do, you can come on the same way instances. Just remove that security group. And click here, come on the launch uh, here. I'm just going to click. Uh, sorry, 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 was, sorry. Uh, for yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. this one. So here, what we are going to do? Edit. We can remove this security group. Where is my IP gone? I think it's a different instance. No. It's easy to practical. 
No, no, the EC2 practical doesn't have any IP address. Actually, public IP address. That's the reason we didn't use. It should be this only. But uh, I have given my view by mistake. I have removed that. Let me add. Otherwise, I am not able to connect after this. But we can add uh, later on also. So my IP that I will keep it. So now I will going to remove this particular rule and save. So now in this particular scenario, if I'm trying with the SSH keys, we will see is is it able to log in or not. So no, now it will not log in. It will just wait for it. Then it's saying the connection isn't established because because it's looking for the security group. Yes, it is looking for the security group and security group doesn't give him the access. Only one IP is enabled. So what yeah. I'm do? Uh, so now you can add one more rule. And you can give here SSH. You can 22. And oh, let's see. We are not changing. We are just giving ICMP now. ICMP rule IP four six custom. So what the rule you want to give here? One option is you can give that IP address of this particular system. So other way is same way. One option is you can give this IP address. Okay. So that it can access. Otherwise. You can give the security group name. Um, I'm confused here. Yes, this IP is uh, the IP of uh, which machine? This from where you are accessing or from? Yes, from the where? Host itself. Okay, this is the twenty dot one forty is the IP of this run machine. Okay. If you see here twenty dot one this, so I'm trying okay. to access from this run machine to web server. Okay. okay so only thing is i have given onto the web server now access is ki that 124 not ssh icmp it can ping uh, okay. so okay. now what i will do rather than doing ssh i am trying to ping this ip ping 172.31.43.50 it is not will not save I guess. No, no, I have saved but I have I think given slash 22. No, no, sorry. It should be not 32 I think. It should be 29 because. Oh, that uh, the port is already. No, no, it's not the port. It's not the port. No, 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 it's not the port. Actually, it is the subnet. Subnet, okay. is not started pinging ok let me try all tcp traffic custom all tcp Okay, let me try with the security group. Wait a minute. I will check the security group of uh, what was the this one. This was the security group. Let me try to give the security group name here. CMP. How does it go? It was the same, but uh, okay. Um, to check the ICMP why it is not working, but on the same way, SSH uh, should work. Sudo sudo Let me try with this one. Okay, my bit is not coming back. So 
it can be other way also it's uh, request will come back through ec2 i think here all the traffic is enabled right yes here everything is enabled okay no problem let's see later uh, so what is our next thing is ssh uh, we will try with the ssh once again so how it is so what i will going to do here in this system come on here so now ssh is not running for uh, that particular system so what i am going i am changing from here to ssh and let it be this security group there so from here now i will try to ssh that particular machine it is working or not yes it's connected now immediately okay because we have given this particular security group. so now what is the purpose of the different security groups uh, okay firstly you was confused about uh, that 2932 so i will little bit give you the explanation how it uh, really works you can see uh, this screen right yeah so there is always uh, some uh, you can say it's, uh, is uh, your network is always like 255 255 255 zero uh, dot zero okay yeah. then again two 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 five dot zero so what it mean if you uh, two five five oh, sorry dot zero it is means slash thirty two because each this subnet is called as eight 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 so then it is 34 slash 32 is if everything is 255 255 255 okay then it is last is zero then it called 24 okay okay so same way if 255 dot 255 dot zero dot zero then it's called in that range we we are calling slash 16 okay yeah so that is calling the subnetting if you read on the internet about the subnetting you will come to know all these things 255 255 255 is the like 16 3 8 is 24 4 8 is 32 yes it is uh it's the same way okay but you have to when you are uh, selecting an ip address let's see they have selected here ip address if you see here if config so they have selected this particular IP address 172 it is coming in which range see here 255 255 240.0 means they have first two is okay third one they have subnetted third 255 so third in 255 they have again break down and made it 240 okay, okay. so it is completely called IP subnetting okay so once you okay. means you can search this uh, on ip subnetting and you will easily able to understand on this one okay? okay so now this is the security groups which you can create according to your requirements so it is most more probably how you create a security group and what is the function for that uh, let me clear here everything okay so now the thing is let's see you have the four departments this department this so this is your accounts this is let's see your IT this is your sales so you are saying these systems can IT can access sales system IT can access the account system okay but who is the administrator of sales is not should not access the accounts or account administrator should not the access this one so yeah. then you can stop these things only this you can create let's say it has 10 systems so all 10 system you can move into the one security group okay okay so this is another security group this is another security group so according to this security groups you can give the access IT has access to this one, all the 22 ports, uh, port number 22 or port number 80 for HTTP, all these things is accessible. But for sales to account, you can deny that. You are not giving access. So as this way, it will helpful for you to means create internal security also. 
Okay, that's the help of subnets. That is the help of with the subnets, which IP you are allowing, which IP you don't want to which allow. Which ports, are, which IP and which ports I yes. can uh, allow. Yes, and more, if you are not able to understand the IP and subnetting, the best way is give the group ID, this one. Mm -hmm. Then you no need to work. for any company? Yeah. Huh? Sorry, come again. This is the ideal use case in any company? Yes, on the AWS, it is the ideal, uh, ideal use case. Because when you are creating the instance, automatically one uh, group ID you have to create. It, it will, once you keep all your uh, one particular department uh, servers in one uh, ID, you no need to give the multiple IPs there. Okay. You have just give the one group ID, mm, that access will be applicable. Okay, then it will create a new uh, policy means new policy for new group ID. So that way it's always good. So now uh, the last time we have done a couple of uh, examples on AWS CLI command. So we will little bit do more today on that how you can really access your AWS uh, configuration. So let me launch one of the instance. Let me see last time we did on here or somewhere else let me check AWS AWS is not installed okay in this system it is not installed so what I will do I will check another system I will check this web server. You know uh, the way how we did last time uh, that pip all these things you remember we installed firstly uh, python hyphen pip then install yeah. aws cli right so <coughs> AWS is installed yes so one uh, the things is uh, here we have installed a couple of things AWS if you really see AWS uh, s3 ls locate credential okay so firstly you have to configure AWS configure so when you are configuring you have to give AWS access ID so what is the access ID for me if I'm going to Davinder? There is my security cr credentials. Okay. So it will come on the security page. Yes, continue security uh, credentials. I can see here my keys. This is my access keys. Okay. So I am copying this one. or you can use a down one anything or you can create a new access key if I'm going uh, let me delete this one new access key show the access key because this secret access key it will not come again you have to and uh, next time you have to create it again so AWS access key I have given now I am coming on this secret key access I am just I am giving here paste now default region so our default region is most of the other uh, I am just closing this one what is our default region for most of our instances uh, west B, A or B uh, A is 4 let's see draw A only ok I think this will work or you have to give 2, two only 2 A default region let me try if I am giving this and format is by default is J, JS on 
so let me see AWS S3 LS it will give me some error message then my uh, region name is wrong yes so what I have to you can connect to the endpoint okay AWS region names What is our US uh, West? 2A. 2. US West 2. I think it should become like this. Okay. Not 2A. Okay, no problem. I will just. US West 2. Yes, it should become as two. So now the problem is you have to uh, carefully just give the same ID. If you enter, it will use the same older ID. So I am giving the older ID only. Whatever I have given, I am just not copying paste here. Secret key also is the same. EAS last four digit is showing. Mm, yes. Now here I am going to change. I am just giving US West two. Here entered. Now I am running the same command S3 LS yes now it's working so couple of exam uh, now you uh, means you have configured this system from here itself you no need to go to the every time on the GUI page and then think about uh, to do a run couple of commands okay so now what you can do you can run couple of commands from here I have just copied couple of commands here okay so you want to see the disk uh, firstly uh, ec2 it will show you all the uh, these files uh, what is the uh, running instance architecture all these things what is the state so it is just describe your ec2 instances so whatever the instances are running state all other things you can see from here um, just i'm seeing running not start only the running instances I will just show you the small examples then we will create from here itself so instance ID I want to uh, okay we will get the instance ID from our page where is Safari gone in this one so come on the instance ID so let's see I want to see this particular I'm coming on see if I'm giving instance ID it is showing me current status running okay so number previous state all these things basic things that uh, it's uh, giving you same way from here you can create new instance okay so you can give AWS EC2 I think running hyphen instances yeah I have to give the image IDs image IDs
I'm giving image ID now. Okay, so I have already created. Let's see this system. Same system I want to create. So this is the image ID. AMI something. Oh, each system has a one one ID. It is mentioned here because back end uh, we have all our Ubuntu only, right? So it is showing all the same image ID. Okay, because Ubuntu image ID. So I am giving same Ubuntu ID here. Uh, that ID name. Then how many you want to uh, create? Count two. Let's say I am creating two. Uh, some running insta run instances. So it is easy to run instances hyphen hyphen image ID IDs I have given sorry. So some people are uh, very good into the uh, this one uh, CLI mode instance in HMV are not supported for this particular instance virtualization type of HVM is not. parameter combination wait a minute AWS EC2 run instances hyphen hyphen image error invalid parameter combination somewhere uh, a space or extra hyphen is given I guess but uh, might be because that is also a not copy paste no wait a minute google baba ki jai AWS uh, AWS uh, EC2 run hyphen instances command count hyphen hyphen count okay instance type I think they have given but that is I don't think so it is required in our case but up to here it is right right okay no problem this AMI image and copy paste from upper one let me try okay so what i will do i will copy paste this also but i have to check the keys and other things key name or it is by first let me check In our instances, we can see what the type of T micro, T2 micro. So, what is mentioned here? T1 micro. Okay. Now, let me try with this one. Yes. I think done. Now, we can come on this one. Something started.
yes one c here it started but it is availability zone it started with the two c you uh -huh. can see this one new initializing yeah okay so it is the one of the way you can use these things inside your cli mode or if you are very good into the cli you no need to go again and again here so these things even you can now do the terminate also we can run the terminate command with terminate instance and same instance id i can give right now here so it will what it, it will start immediately aws ec2 terminate hyphen instances uh, then instance id yes i have to give hyphen hyphen instance ids instance ids if you run here immediately you come here and uh, refresh whatever it is initializing it is start shutting down and uh, terminating see here see uh, where it is gone see at top shutting down now status so because in the command line i have given the terminate so it is shut down and terminate also in the same time after this so it will take couple of seconds here and the same way you can start uh, start the instance stop the instance all these things it's uh, let's see you want to stop this particular instance see it's the simple thing you can uh, run all these things from the command line stop instances So if I am coming here, that is terminated. See here. Now the status changed to terminated. I have stopped this EC2 practical. Now let's see EC2 practical. What is the status for EC2? Yeah, it is stopping now. So you, you understand now what is the benefit of AWS command line, right? So you no yeah. need to do come here or all these things. You can uh, let's see. You have to create a uh, hundred of servers. So in the command line it, uh, itself, you can create a script and uh, it will create hundred of servers. There is many other way, but I'm just giving you one example. Okay. So on the CLA mode, you can just create all the uh, in command in one uh, uh, line and then you can run number of times as, or you can move it to the script and it will uh, help you. Okay. So it will ease your work. So one of the thing uh, it has the uh, placement groups. So normally uh, placement group is you can say you can create uh, a placement group here is <coughs> it should be a unique name. What is the benefit of uh, placement group? It is uh, some option. I just want to uh, clear you in a single availability zone. Sometimes you need a very low latency feature. Let's say you have the uh, 20 of servers and some of application, some of databases and uh, they want the latency it should be very much uh, less so what they are uh, do at that time they are creating a placement group for aws which will connect all these instances in one ability zone but on uh, and give you the very less uh, latency because when you are creating a placement group after that you have to create multiple instances so that will help you uh, in this uh, firstly create the placement group then over that you have to start in new um, instances under this placement group then it will give you the benefit otherwise sometimes it will give you the error so you can go through this link it is not uh, we are covering here so i have just uh, this is the you can see this one yes yeah so it is the uh, placement group means very few people are using uh, they have just gave you this option also they are uh, told what is the limitation some of the things uh, you how you can create uh, this particular and after that what type of errors it's coming 
<coughs> if you are creating uh, I mean the instance uh, firstly create the instance then move into the placement group sometimes it will give you uh, the error message it's fail sometimes it's not enough capacity for the instance so these type of uh, things are there so mostly if it is well planned everything then you can create this placement groups and uh, means in a single availability group every all your uh, new instances will create under this placement group then it is wonderful for you okay so we will stop here tomorrow we will start i want to start today itself but uh, i think it's uh, time so we, tomorrow we will start our uh, amazon uh, rational database system okay so how it is so uh, tomorrow uh, we will start this thing